This lesson is going to talk about transversals and angle relationships. Let's talk about transversal. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more coplanar lines at different points. So line EF is a transversal. It intersects lines AB and CD. Transversals create a number of angle relationships. Here you can see there are eight angles formed by the intersections of these lines. You might see some familiar linear pairs or vertical angles. Let's look at some new ones. Corresponding angles are angles that are in corresponding positions for the different lines. So angles two and six are both in the top right position. So they're corresponding angles. Angles three and seven are also corresponding. They're both in the bottom left position. Angles one and five are both in the top left, so they're also corresponding angles. And then four and eight are corresponding angles. We also have something called alternate interior angles. Angles that are in between the two lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. So angles three and six are both inside lines A, B, and C, D, but they're on opposite sides of the transversal. So they are alternate interior angles. Angles four and five are also alternate interior angles. We also have alternate exterior angles. So these are going to be angles outside of the two lines and then still opposite sides of the transversal. So angles one and eight are alternate exterior angles and angles two and seven are alternate exterior angles. They're outside lines A, B, and C, D and on opposite sides of the transversal. Our last angle relationship is consecutive interior angles. They are inside the two lines, but on the same side of the transversal. So angles three and five are consecutive interior angles. You can think consecutive numbers are numbers right next to each other on a number line. Consecutive angles are next to each other on the same side of the transversal. Angle four and six are also consecutive interior angles.